I think it's about time that I break down why I want to be an IFBB pro. Although I've been chasing it and talking about it, I'm not sure if I really have broken down why I am doing it other than the fact that I like bodybuilding because there's a ton of bodybuilders out there, a ton of fitness enthusiasts who just love training. That has nothing to do with IFBB pro status. But I myself am chasing the IFBB pro car. So I think it's about that time, guys. We are one day out. I'm not sure when you guys will see this video or hear this video, but we are one day out and we are just inching closer and closer and closer to the time that we are stepping on that stage. As bodybuilders, we spend months and months training to step on that stage and you might get you 100 seconds you might get 120 seconds or you might just have 50. you never really know it's all based on the show and based on the competition that's another thing that's a big big factor big key thing to focus on is the fact that it's you versus you this whole entire sport is you versus you you'll never truly know who's going to show up and if they do show up you never truly know what they're going to look like on show day because that's the goal, to look our best on show day. I wrote something down. My sister asked me before my last competition why I even wanted to be a pro car. And at that specific time, I didn't necessarily have a complete answer for her. I knew I wanted to be an IB pro because I wanted to put it in my bio on Instagram, of course. But I, I didn't have a real quick, direct, and I guess impactful answer to give her other than a status and what i'm learning in my journey with walking with god is the fact that status means nothing status on earth means nothing we fight to get these titles and we fight to get like i said status and to be known and to be seen but in all actuality none of that really matters what work do you do on this earth to build up the kingdom that's what i'm learning in the journey so moving away from just chasing that status of being an IFBB pro. I had to shift my focus and really key in and figure out what my actual reasoning of chasing this IFBB pro car was. X Factors, good morning show day. We have made it to another show day. This show day right here, this is a very, very, maybe sentimental. I don't know what kind of word I want to use, man, but this show day is, is going to be so much different than all the others, man. This show day right here, I am mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally prepared to step on that stage and earn that first place prize. IFBB Pro Card, overall, your 2024 Mr. USA. I'm. I'm, I'm ready for it. That's what we have been chasing this last months. You know, we started in November 2023 and we've been grinding ever since for this one day right here. This day means a lot. It took a lot to get here. I definitely want to thank all of you guys for sure for holding me accountable for, you know, just just staying in my comments and just motivating me, inspiring me keeping me on my toes when asking me questions, continuously supporting me, telling me, hey, you got this first place, you looking good, dude, this, 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 this everything. The, the diet hacks you guys are giving me, like you guys have played a huge role in this whole entire journey and I truly, truly appreciate you guys. So I wanna start the video off just like that and say thank you to all of the X Factors out there supporting me on this journey we going to get it. We're going to get it for us, man. We've been grinding so hard. This is for all of us, man. But today is going to be so much different because I got my whole entire family here. I say whole entire, but I mean, you know, media family. And then I got my in-laws here. Like this one right here is big, man. The whole family's coming. We're actually getting ready right now to head to Denny's to get those luxurious pancakes, man. A little bit of syrup, a little bit of coffee. Woke up looking amazing feeling amazing one pound heavier than i was on my last show so that is also a plus not necessarily the most important thing as far as weight goes so i don't have any weight goals right now we wanted to hover around the 180s and i do believe that by filling up today we will hit around let's say 178 maybe even to 180 who knows i won't actually step on the scale other than when i'm about to head out to prejudging 
head out for my tan in the morning. So woke up today 176, looking and feeling amazing. Coach said we cooking like hibachi. Bruh, we are on point this morning. And we're just in good spirits, man. Okay, nothing, no negativity can come this way, man. I woke up super early, I think around like 4.15, I was just laying in the bed. And I said, you know what, let me pull out the Bible. I went ahead and read a couple of chapters. Then I got up, I said, let me pose, let me see the physique. Looked at the physique and was like, wow. And then heard everybody in the house getting ready. And it just clicked on me like, this is so much different. You know, I'm normally going to get pancakes by myself, just chilling out. You guys seen my last show day, hey, my previous ones before. I'm normally alone. The queen is normally in the hotel with the family. But today is different. Everybody's coming with me for those, that, that breakfast of champions, man. Breakfast of champions. We got that raw on the, on the tee right here. Champion mentality, man. We are ready to get it. Y'all, welcome to show day. 2024, Mr. USA on the way, IFBB pro status, grabbing that today. Y'all, life is good. God is good. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm gonna record as much as I can today and give you guys everything I can. You guys deserve that. You deserve to see it all, so I'm gonna try to give it to you all. So, let's get it. Let's enjoy the day, let's enjoy the journey, let's enjoy the time in general. No matter what the outcome is, no matter what the places are, no matter what happens at the venue, y'all, let's just enjoy the day. We did a lot to get here, and it's time to get it. So let's get it. Okay. Breakfast of champions. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get that. Oh, berry stuff. What you getting? Oh, is it that icing? Is it icing? Not that one. No. The berry. Is it icing? Stuffed though? French toast. Oh, it's a cream cheese that filling. Sounds really good. Ew. Oh. That sounds good. I just need two pancakes. Thank you. Little no. sir. A little bit of syrup, just a little bit. Two egg whites and, and some coffee, yeah. Coffee? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. Orange juice. All right, y'all. Sipping on that coffee. Continue with the dehydration phase. Dry side just a little bit more. Oh, it's so good, man. Oh, so good. Instead of toast, you can get on. Guess what we need? First off, I love the league and the mentality that a ton of the athletes carry. Perseverance, dedication, grit, and so much more. I want to show my supporters that any goal or dream can be accomplished through hard work and not just dedication, but determination as well. Be determined to win. Be determined to be better. Be determined to be disciplined. I also want to be a part of the few athletes who are completely natural in holding IFBB pro status. When we see a pro, our first thought is steroids, enhanced, testosterone boosting. Very few people think you can obtain pro level while being natural and using only the gifts God's bless you with. I knew I had great genetics when I was being compared to enhanced guys and my physique was far better. No shade, it just was at that specific time. I also wanna be an inspiration to my family my wife and kids look at me like a superhero, so I might as well look the part. <laughs> By seeing me stay disciplined, seeing me grind every single day, hearing it in my voice that I want and will do anything in my power to win, to be better. To me, it seems like the best way to inspire and motivate than to chase the dreams and goals and never give up. Also, I've been training and bodybuilding for years. I know I have what it takes to be the best. I want that IFBB Pro status under my belt to prove to myself that I have what it takes to be the best. I am the best.
Get a random one. You get a random one. I'm gonna give you this. It's almost time. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, oh, he just yeah. threw it down there, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, one more dollar. I'm, I'm getting where your money at, man. Yeah, I touched on being natural, right? And I don't like to do too many comparisons. I don't like to put anybody down for using enhancements and things like that. But I do understand that in order to be at the top, the top of the top, the, the most elite, you're going to have to be enhanced. I don't know any natural that is all the way at the top. And that right there is demotivating, but it's also motivating at the same time. It's demotivating because it's it sends the message as if you can't achieve it without being enhanced. You can't achieve that top level without being enhanced. And you know, it sucks because not everybody wants to dibble and dabble with that kind of stuff. I know me personally, I don't. And I spoke about God's gifts. God's given me this body. He's built this body for me. He's given me the genetics. He's given me all the tools I need in order to strive and be the best, the best that I can possibly be. Once I start injecting anything or just using any type of help that's away from the natural side, then I'm going against what God created. And for me, that is not something I'm willing to do. So I know for sure that moving and shifting my focus over into the enhanced side won't be a thing for me so it's a little scary on what the future will leave for me once i get my ifbb pro card i started this prep in november 2023 and have been grinding since before i started my prep i made sure i was good with god say hey is this something we need to be chasing should we be pursuing this ifbb pro card and he said yes go for it and so since then i have been grinding we went to our amateur show in May on May 11th won that we trained for months for this one day show day we need to show up in the morning be on point top of our game and then we need to come back at night and be even better and that's exactly what I did the judges rejudged us and I came out on top got that overall and from then I knew all right let's take a little break let's go on vacation we took a week off and then when I got home I got right back on the grind hired a coach, we put in the plan and we executed. And that's where we're at today, all the way to the day, 10 weeks ago. Tomorrow would be 10 weeks of prepping for this pro card, Road to Pro. I, I pray that you guys have followed the journey and you have watched all the YouTube videos, but we have probably 50 something episodes of Road to Pro. We have been grinding. Like this prep hasn't been easy, this prep, I didn't want it to be easy. You know, I, I took my, I removed myself from the equation. I normally do things on my own. I've been training and competing by myself on my own and shaping my physique on my own for years. Hardcore since 2014. It was time for me to step away from the coach and just be the student, be the student of the game and let my coach do the, do the, do the planning for me. He planned everything out for me. He's still giving me updates to this day on the second. We are bringing something crazy, something different, and something well-deserved to that stage tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, we made it to the venue. We are about to get tan right now, so I'm just waiting in line. It's packed right now, and the line to get in the actual venue itself all the way around there, super packed. But this is tanning up here. Almost game time, let's get it. All right, y'all. I got my meal right here, so just getting in a little bit of a little bit of chicken, but a lot of rice. Still carving up, and the pancakes did the trick, but you still need to eat more, fill the muscles up, because we have a lot of time to be on stage. I got like another hour and a half, so just eating right now. I may eat again. I actually don't know. Playing it by ear, but it's enjoying the journey, man kicked up for that. I was in there watching the show a little bit, so I'm back and forth. I'm not actually backstage yet. Backstage is like all the way over there in the cut, all the way over there. Classic physique is backstage right now. So men's physique is out here just chilling. We're just hanging out, folks sleeping and stuff like that. But all right, just kicking back my nice pillow. <laughs> all right, let me good, man. It's good, it feels good. It's feel good, man. Number 382. I'm so mad y'all couldn't live stream this, but it's all good. 
I'll put the clips on the screen for you guys, show you guys how I'm looking. So I'll show you guys how to show when. Yeah, it's a good one, I know it is. We've been working hard, guys. And you guys see it, we've been working hard. The X Factors, I'm doing this for y'all. Like I said, I'm doing it for my supporters to let you guys know that chasing your goals sh should be hard. It should be challenging. But as long as you never give up, as long as you give it your all, stay disciplined and stay focused, you can achieve any and everything that you desire. But you must pray. You must pray and believe that the Lord already has this ready for you. Pray that he already has the, the success on the other side for you. Pray that he is gonna come through and help you through it. I prayed the most through this last 10 weeks. I had to get extremely close to God. I started going to Bible study because the Sundays was just not enough. My morning devotionals just wasn't enough. Building that relationship, I believe, got me to where I'm at right now. I grew spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Uh, I'm just a better person at the end of it. That's what contest preps do for you, they should do for you. It should make you a better person coming out of the contest prep. Leading up, you should be shaping yourself. Shaping yourself, not just your body. It's not just picking up weights and throwing them down, going to the kitchen, eating, sleeping. Focus on overall growth. You know, I'm a parent, I'm a husband, I'm a military officer. I have a lot on my plate, but it's not an excuse. It just means in order for me to obtain my bodybuilding levels, in order for me to chase that bodybuilding goal, I need to make sure everything else is still leveled out and even surpassing bodybuilding because bodybuilding is just a small part of my life. My whole life is the Lord, then I got my wife, and then I got my kids in that order. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Thank you for holding me accountable. Let's go get this pro card.
All right, y'all, so we back. We out of pre-judging. Got everybody here, got the fam here. All right, so it's looking like... And wrap your nose. <laughs> so my coach said the same thing y'all said, right? He said it's looking like first or second based on the video quality that he can see. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm looking at the video, I'm like, that look like second or third. Because I, look, I think the other dude look good, but he said he don't really look that good. But he can't really see because it's the video. Yeah. The video, when, when the video got transferred to him, there's a little, the quality I'll went down. I sent him, I sent him the message. Yeah. So, uh, but from what he can see, oh, yeah. he said first or second. So we gotta, so this is where, this is crunch time right here. This is where we, we this is where we strive. So we eat a burger, nothing on it. Pretty much the same thing I ate last night. Yeah. A little bit of ketchup, the same thing I ate last night, sweet potato fries. If you Soak some more water up for the, with the bread. Get the beef in for the fat, the protein, get that filling. Fill up a little more, get a little tighter. And then you, you normally come back looking crazy. Now you normally have more time. I only got like an hour and a half, right. two hours. I got two hours before I go on. Yeah. But how, how long it going to take to cook it? So normally it take a little while, but the wine should do it justice. So we're coming back for first. We're gonna, we're gonna come back for first, you know? If we fall a little short, we get second. We all good. If we fall short, we get third. You know what? We still good. Last national show we got seventh. So <laughs> this is uh this is this is this is an improvement. Yeah, this is a come up with problems. But y'all, hopefully y'all saw the videos. Y'all saw everything. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all comment down below. So we outside this restaurant, right outside the venue, because we just gonna eat. And just go right back in, man. There you go. Got the queen holding it down. She always shakes. She be more nervous than me. Oh, so nervous. <laughs> but he did so good. Oh. What you hey. So good. He, he says looking like first or second. See? Based on the video quality, I sent him the video, and he couldn't really see the other guy, the third guy. So he's like, Nah, the the other guy that never moved. Well, he moved once. Yeah, it was like. Cause, cause, that's what I said. He said what they're trying to. Oh yeah. So he said what they're trying to do is, they were trying to put that guy they switched me with beside him, to really see where the other guy fell. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You also want to, yeah. You also want to get that guy I switched to stand beside the other guy versus. I mean, where else would they move him? Yeah. Figure out. Okay. I go. To make it make sense. The sign didn't try to make sense. Uh -huh. They ain't gonna say. Oh, move all the way over, scoot over here. Right. It's more so just a slide down. All right, y'all, here it is, guys. Champion meal. This is what brings us back to life. All right, so just simple, just like that. Nice, nice Angus patty right there. Get a little bit of ketchup, sweet potato fries, and do the wine. It hit every time, man. We got to do this. This is mandatory. Hey, we need that pro car, guys. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. It's time to get in here. Finish the job. Finish it up. Got work to do, guys. Let's go get that pro pro. I love y'all. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Like this video. Let's kill it, man. I appreciate y'all. Let's go. Oh yeah, and shout out to the homie Jarvis. I ran to him backstage. Super cool dude, brother. I appreciate you. Keep watching the vlogs. It doesn't stop here. We're gonna keep climbing to the top, no matter what. Shout out to my man Jarvis. All right, let's get it.
Xavier Thompson. y'all i'm gonna update y'all in a little bit we are pulling up to friendly donuts yeah 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 oh. you want to go ahead you can close that you can close that sure no but, uh, strawberry shortcake yeah. we're gonna try everything <laughs> oh okay banana pudding, banana pudding? Ooh, okay. oh that's my man yeah, gonna get I us right so we about to get these donuts man Y'all, we finished third top three second national show you know what you gotta take it. You gotta, you gotta take it like that. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a hard sport. I and mean, although you don't get the result you wanted, hey, you still gotta show that sportsmanship, man. Get them next time. We're gonna come back. But right now, we're gonna get these donuts. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah. You get a big you get a big you get a yeah, we're, we're oh, going to put 80s right now. Yeah, I think the 80s with the other girls get too bad. Oh, Thank you, Mike. Oh, 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 we're gonna start doing this. Y'all, we about to eat about uh, 10,000 calories. Y'all wanna do it? 10,000 calories. Let's get it. I'm gonna show y'all when we get all these donuts. We about to go crazy. Oh, they said get a dozen, didn't they? Sheesh. Y'all, we He said those are the number one sellers. Which one's that? The cream field. This one? Yep. Big one. Yeah, he said that fresh. Those are number one seller. All right, y'all. Queen getting the first bite. Oh, you giving me oh, the first bite? Oh, everywhere. You in there? <laughs> I don't know. She let her stop first. <laughs> I thought she was stopping. <laughs> she got her foot on the brakes. <laughs> was it hidden? That cream was good. Huh? The cream. Mm-hmm. That's good. The cream is one. Uh huh. The cream is one. Which one was that? The cream? Like a two. The donut. Wait, no, I'm about to rate both. The cream? Is a ten. The donut? Probably a three. So, all together. So, I got this. There's probably like a seven. I got this Canadian one for myself, so I'm going to eat that one. Oh, that cream is fire. I just can't get to eat it on the Corona. This Canadian one. They call it a dessert. You had two Canadian ones. Yeah, one, one for Christmas. Yep, every time. Every time. Everybody, a lot of people got them. Well, I don't know a lot of donuts, but they got mm, You liking it, boo? Ready to gain some weight, baby. <laughs> ready to do it. Serge said you're in a brisket. It's so good. I think I need to get over. God's timing. That's it. God's timing. We fought extremely hard. Over the last, let's just give it 10 weeks. Over the last 10 weeks, we dialed ourselves in and we fought extremely hard. And it comes down to, it just wasn't our time. We finished third place at the most prestigious show of the year. You gotta take that as a win. Third place, top three. And if you really go back in 2019, I placed seventh place on the national stage. So to come back in 2024 in a place in the top three, that's progression. This bodybuilding sport, we progress over time. It has to be progression. If not, you're just getting worse 
or you're just stagnant. So I'm going to take that third place win, but the work isn't done yet, guys. I'm curious to know you guys' comments on what you saw from the show. So go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. But I'm still waiting to hear back from the judges. So I don't know exactly why I placed third, but from looking at the top two, from looking at the first place and the second place, I knew I was gonna fall in that third place position. You guys heard me speak after pre-judging and I'm saying it's looking like second or third, but my coach, he was under the impression that it might be first or second because he didn't see good quality videos when I sent it over. And then for my family, they were in the crowds and maybe their eye just wasn't really understanding on the bodybuilding physique in general, but they also thought I was first or second. Shout out to the first place, shout out to the second place. Those guys did extremely well and they look extremely well. There are some mistakes that were made on show day for me. What you guys have to remember is the fact that we train for weeks, for months, all for that one day. And on that one day, we need to look our best. That's all that matters. On that show day, you need to look your best. A few things that I did wrong that I will change in the future is the amount of calories and carbs that I consume prior to stepping on that stage. I woke up pretty late on show day, thought I was getting some good sleep, but in all actuality, I should have been up a little earlier so I could start feeding. I needed at least four to five meals of carbs before prejudging. Instead, I had three. My muscles just weren't as full. And when your muscles aren't as full, it's gonna be extremely hard for you to get that pump backstage, get that vascularity backstage. We need fluid and we need carbs in our body. We need those nutrients. It's all about nutrient flow and blood flow. So that right there is something that I lacked on show day. I did not eat enough carbs, nearly enough. And then another thing that I noticed is my midsection. Now, had I ate enough carbs, maybe my midsection would have filled out a lot better, a lot more. But if you look at the top two guys, I mean, their abs were hard. Now, I am a natural, so achieving that hard look is going to be hard and difficult, but it's doable. We can get it done. We just have to be strategic on, again, what we eat, what we drink leading up to the show. And also a lot of ab training to make your abs well-defined, make them hard and make them look extremely well. So that's another thing that separated me from the top two guys. Their ab sections, their mid sections, their abdominal region was extremely well developed and looked pretty good. So I understand why they placed where they placed if that was the issue or if that was one of the scores. I'm, again, I'm not sure what the judges are saying right now. I haven't heard back from them. Normally on these national shows, you want to talk to the judges right after the finals, but we went first and I wasn't sticking around till eight or nine o'clock. I was done at six, you know, so I had to do the email after the show and it takes about 60 days to hear back. So about two months and I'm going to hear something back from the judges. But just from me looking at it, I know it's conditioning. Size could be an issue, but the only reason why the size was how it was was simply because not enough food. So as you notice, not enough food is going to affect the body completely. Get the food in you, you'll be able to pump up, be large on stage, you'll be able to be hard on stage, drink enough fluids, and then it comes down to posing. So not necessarily your individual routines because your individual routine is cool, it's nice, you can finesse, you can look real smooth, but the judges aren't great in that. They're looking at you, but they're not great in that. What they're grading is when, when you're in those comparisons, when you're in that lineup compared to the guys, they want to see how long can you hold your poses, who's going to flatten out, soften out, and who's going to be the most comfortable. So for me and from what I look and from what I know just for myself, I could have been a lot more comfortable. I should have practiced a lot more on my breathing control. I should have focused a lot more on my flexing, flexing extremely hard and trying to control that. That separated me from the top two. I know for sure that separated me. They put me in the middle and then they moved me right back out. And when I turn around and see my back, I'm like, wow, my back is crazy. And then I turn around and see the front and I'm like, okay, needs work. So I, I know where I need work at guys, but just wrapping up this video to say thank you guys for following the journey. Thank you guys for all the support, all the comments, all the love on Instagram, YouTube. You guys are amazing. But I just want to let you guys know, we are not done. We got work to do. We're still in the 2024 season. 
that pro card is right there. We are right there. We're going to get that pro card, guys. I want you guys to follow this journey and I want you guys to stick around. We're not quitters. Come on, X-Factors. We've been grinding for so long. We are not quitters. We're not hanging up the towel yet. We got some big news coming soon. And I want you guys to stick around for that. So if you aren't subscribing, I need you guys to subscribe right now. Like this video, share this video, get tuned into the journey. We got work to do and it's not over. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.